So the first part of ingestion of food is through mastication. Once the food has been caught or collected and perhaps cooked or processed in some other way, it is placed in the mouth. So here's an example here from this animation, a sandwich. So once the, the food has been placed in the mouth, it begins to get cut up by the teeth and the pieces are mixed with saliva by the tongue. This cutting and mixing is known also as mastication. Mastication. Also chewing. And this produces a ball of food called a bolus. And in later videos, we're going to see where this bolus goes and what happens to it. The bolus will be later swallowed and passed on to the next part of the gut. Another important aspect of this early part of ingestion is the role of digestive enzymes. In digestion, food molecules are broken down by hydrolysis, which you may have seen already in chemistry class, which is known as a breakdown by water. And it's catalyzed by a series of enzymes, which we see occurring in this animation here. Each enzyme works in different regions of the gut. We are going to be focusing on the ones that are involved in the saliva. So carbohydrate digestion, so from the sandwich, the actual bread, begins in the mouth. The saliva contains an enzyme called amylase, which we see in this animation here, the um, like dark green uh, enzyme, this one here, which is running off the page. This enzyme catalyzes the conversion of the insoluble polysaccharide starch into a simpler sugar called maltose. Okay, so the reaction it catalyzes is starch going into maltose. The saliva also contains mucus, which allows the lubrication of the food, and a hydrogen carbonate, which uh, allows the correct pH in order for the enzyme amylase to work best. Usually a basic pH of around pH 8. Okay, the starch is not usually all converted to maltose in the mouth since the food does not remain there very long. And the next step is going to be how it gets down into the stomach. But that's for another video.